Hello tea timers. So today I am drinking my um, afternoon tea and that uh, with just a little bit of cream and it's nice and piping hot. <sighs> it's really good. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a couple things, new things on our thing today before I get to the questions. Uh, first, you might notice my friend's book. I've got, I actually have two of them. And it's her book birthday. And uh, this is my friend, Mary Bly. And um, we have become really good friends. And it's kind of a funny story how it happened. So I'd read her books. Those of you who don't know her, she has also written um, historical romance. This is uh, it, this is like a uh, it's like commercial women's fiction. It's beautiful. I read the first draft, um, not the first draft, well, several drafts. It was a bunch of drafts in. It took her four years to write this book, and it's a book of her heart. And I just loved it. It reminded me kind of of. Uh, you know that drifty feeling of that movie back in the, what was it, the 90s maybe? Enchanted April. It takes place in Italy. And um, this challenge, like challenge brings her there. And, and uh, she's in one place when she starts. And it's sort of like a blossoming, like an opening up. Up, opening up of a tightly held protected bud um, throughout the movie Lizzie's story and her, her relationship with Dante who's a, a, a like an amazing chef and the little daughter hit um, his daughter and her best friend and um, his his partner and it's just these intertwining stories it's just really beautiful and also oh before I forget I'm going to be doing a Zoom event with her at Village Books, um, Village Books Paper Dreams in Bellingham, and it's it's going to be listed below the link, and it's on June twenty second. But it's it's on now, and whoopsie, that's wrong way. <laughs> and if you if you pre order, you can get a pre ordered signed book of her book, of my book, because she's sending the things, and we're going to be talking now. How did I meet Mary? <laughs> you, you might like. Okay, so what happened is I'd read some of her Eloise and James books. Well, okay, <clears throat> that's not exactly true. I'd read all of her Eloise and James books. Um, they're, they're really cozy books to read when, you know, the world's coming down around your ears because it's just like, you know, back in, in the old times and, you know, peaceful. Um, so i would known her as that. And when my husband was going to be, he was invited to do a book festival in Las Vegas. He asked me if I wanted to come with them. And I was like, oh, sure. And then I thought I'll go to some, listen to some authors, talk about their books or whatever. And then I was looking through the lists of authors, other than my husband, I'd go to his, of course. And I saw that Eloise James was gonna be there. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh, that's so exciting. Yes, I definitely wanna come. I mean, I'd go before to support him, but I hadn't been to Las Vegas since um, the, what was it? Oh, Agnes of God came out and they'd flown, flown me there for Show West. It's in the earlier tea time. So, so I said, yes, honey, oh, I'd love to come. And then I mentioned to Jen, I said, oh, we're, are you gonna be in Vegas? Because my sister lo loves playing the poker. And I said, because we're going to be there during this time. She goes, well, we weren't planning to, but let me get back to you. And then she talked to Phil, who's also a professional poker player. And they're like, we're going to come to Vegas so we can hang out while we're, you're there for dawn. And then my little sister Becky was like, I'm going to come to Vegas too. And so Becky and her partner um, came and then um, um, Greg came and Jen and Phil and Dawn and me, except for what happened was I got, I don't know if some of you, when you get um, older, you get a little bit of vertigo sometimes. Well, I got laid low with a really bad bout. So everybody is coming to Vegas because Don was going to be there to see me. And then I couldn't, I couldn't fly. <laughs> I couldn't walk across the living room during that time. So I was like, oh, oh. And I was so disappointed I wasn't going to see my sisters and, and to see Phil and Greg and, and all hang out together and eat yummy food and tromp around and go to shows. Jen bought tickets to shows. And I was really at this point, I wasn't going to get to meet um, Eloisa James, whose real name is Mary Bly, but I didn't know that. So then my husband went to the festival and, you know, they have author gets together for all the authors who are presenting. And he remembered that I said, just, can you just go to her and just thank her for her books and tell her that I enjoy them? So he did. And then she was like, oh, and she had knew my name because I used to be an actress, as you all know. 
<laughs> and so then my husband, so then I get a call from my husband or a, a text or one, I can't remember if it was call or text. And he said, Mary wants you to text her. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> what do I do? Oh no, no, but she's, she's a, she's a fancy author. <laughs> I mean, I guess I've had, you know, now I've had 10 books published, but I was like, oh no, what do I say? And I'm a really bad speller. What if I misspell something? But then I'm like, oh no, but you know, she did, Don did say she wants me to text her. So, uh, I, I, I better text her. I can't remember if it was text her or call her. Maybe it was call her, give her a call or whatever. I can't remember. Anyway, no, text her. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, one thing led to another. I was scared. I was so scared. My heart was kind of pounding, but I did whatever it was. So whether it was a text or a call, I don't remember because it was around five years ago. And, um, and then um, she responded back and I was like, oh my gosh. And so then we, but then we picked up like, and then another and another and then over a period of time, it's like it just kind of picked up momentum. And <clears throat> we became like friends, <laughs> like really good friends where we were talking about things because we have a lot of similar things in, in the way that we grew up. Not, not in the, um, you know, the abuse side that, that I had, but in a lot of the other sides. And it was just like finding a kindred spirit. And I was so grateful for, to my husband because he had kind of initiated this, this friendship. And, and then, um, and then uh, she had said, I can't remember what it was or how it came up, but somehow I found out that actually she hadn't asked me, she hadn't said, oh, here, give her my, give her my number and have her text me. Dawn lied. <laughs> Like, okay, it's a lie I forgive because she's become one of my best friends, but oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. She, he said, I, I knew that she wouldn't, wouldn't, you know, I knew that you were shy and that she's in some way shy and some way not, but I just had a feeling that you guys would really hit it off. So I asked her if it was okay if my wife texted you or gave you a call, I can't remember which it was. And she said, uh, okay. And then later we were talking about it. So he, he told her that I wanted to, and he told me that she wanted to. And that was very duplicitous of him, but I'm really, really grateful because we've become such good friends and we talk all the time. And, um, she's just so kind and so smart and so a beautiful writer and, um, such a good friend. And, and I just love her to bits. So uh, we're gonna be talking, and it's funny because I've never done like a public thing with her. We've just been friends talking, you know, over tea, and I've seen her when I go to New York, and, and then she came to LA, and I was in LA visiting my sister and my daughter, and so then we went out, and, uh, and we all, throughout the pandemic, we talked once a week, um, at least. And so I, it's just such a gift. You know how when you get older, you wanna, you wanna, you think, oh, I gotta make friends. You wanna make friends, but you, you aren't going to school. And as writers, you're just writing in your room. It, it's different. It's like, um, or you might meet people and you might become like a little bit friends, like surface skimming friends, like, you know, those water bugs that kind of just bop, 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 bop on the sur surface, but you never go down. But something happened with Mary and me and we just went zoomp. <laughs> and, oh, and I went to France. We went to France um, a couple summers before the pandemic and we were writing there with another, a friend of hers and in this little place, I posted about it on Instagram if you go way, way back. Yeah, so so um, check out my friend's book, Lizzie and Dante, um, Mary Bly. Uh, is, she's, it's the only book she's written under her real name, Mary Bly. And you might be thinking, oh, the Bly name sounds a little familiar because her father, is um, Robert Bly who wrote, I think it's called Iron John or something like that, men's book, I did, I haven't read it. So she had a very interesting, unusual childhood as well. And maybe she'll talk a little bit about those types of things when we do our Zoom talk. But anyway, it, it's friends chatting and hanging out. And, um, and I hope you all join us June 22nd at noon and the listing will be, oops, I just put myself. 
in the face. Listing will be below. Okay, so that's one. Oh my gosh, I've got 10 minutes. Okay, I've got to go to my other thing because it's really important too. Oh, I hope I have time to get to my questions. Hold on. Oh, and also we're only doing once a week. Oh, I don't know how this is going to be. I'm going to... Okay, I got a box in the mail. And um, a PC has already... And, and one of the person had already figured it out because they had gone to the website. This is from... Oh, see, I was almost going to cut towards myself. Don't do that, people. When you cut, always cut away from yourself because because that might be unfortunate. So I have a sense what this is because Kelly wrote to me and said it's on its way, but I, I thought I'd do another unboxing. So here we go, drum roll. Okay, we've got our paper. We have, holy cow, it's way bigger than I thought. Ta-da! Meg's Cozy Tea Time, and it's at Murchie's, and it's my it's the four favorites that I drink mostly. So it's the number 10, Murchie's Afternoon, Darjeeling Estate, and Jasmine Extra Choice Pure. And it's loose teas, so that, um, so I'm not sure. I wonder if that means no tea bags. Oh, yes. So you've got the loose teas, so you can put it in little things like, like this, if you have this. You can do it and, and you don't need a lot for a cup like maybe that much because it puffs up can you see that okay just maybe that much this is going to make a nice strong cup you can do a little bit less or a little bit more depending how you like it or like how when i made it when colin and i made it because we didn't have a tea strainer we just put a big heaping teaspoon and, and a half in the pot so what you do is you pour hot water in the pot and then you swirl it around, this is swirl it around, and you pour it out, and then you put like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, it depends how strong you like your tea, into the pot, and then you have your teapot, and then you pour the water, boiling, it has to be boiling, none of those instant hot water things, because we have an instant hot water thing here in our house, but it's not quite hot enough to brew tea. It, it's perfectly fine for people, but if you want a properly brewed cup of tea, it, you have to bring the water to a boil. So then you pour the water, here's the pot, this is my hand. You pour the water from a little bit high up. You can start low if you want and go a little bit high so, so that it aerates the water. Put the lid on and then let it sit for around three, four minutes and then you can pour out your tea. Now. If you have a strainer and you want to, like in the fancy tea places, they'll have a little strainer that they'll hold, put over your cup and strain it in. Um, but we just poured it in our cup and sometimes there'd be a couple leaves. A lot of them would just stay in the pot, go to the bottom. There might be a couple leaves in your cup, but it's no big deal. You just, they sink down or you take it off the top. So that's how you do it. And you let it sit and then you pour it and then you add a little bit of cream or sugar or whatever you like or nothing at all. So yay, so you can get this. Oh, oh, this is another thing I forgot. Okay, so Murchie's has, uh, they're gonna do, so if you buy the, if you wanna get the tea. No, I'm not getting anything for the Murchie's tea. I just drink Murchie's tea. So I'm just doing this because they were so kind to do uh, Meg's Cozy Tea Time Tea Collection. Um, so if you do, you can put the code MEG, M-E-G in caps, where it says code, and it'll give you $5 off your purchase. So whatever you purchase at Murchie's, just put the code M-E-G. Meg on it and then and then they'll give you five dollars off and they've offered to give um for the first three months to celebrate to do a draw so that they're going to give one of these boxes they'll ship one of these boxes to once a month for the next three months to one of my tea timers so yay um it's free absolutely free <laughs> so, you know what we did when we were kids we used to do like radio shows where we'd have a tape recorder and then we'd do commercials and it was so fun and we'd do like, oh, crunchy potato chips. Mmm, <coughs> delicious, salty. And we'd make up all these things for commercials that also was like, absolutely free. <laughs> They're gonna give, Merchie's gonna give out the three of these. So I'll do one a month. And what I'll do is I'm gonna start up a little, um, I'll do an email address. So you'll have to send, they needed your address, your name, your phone number. I won't give it to anybody. I won't even keep it myself except for to do the draws. And I'll do, uh, I'm going to set up an email. So that'll be in the link below as well. And I'll do it at the end of each month. So it'll be the link that will say, um, which will say my, not the link, the email to do it. But that's only going to be for that. 
because um, my assistant, <clears throat> Don, <laughs> will print out the names and the addresses and phone numbers, and then I'll pick I'll pick it out of the I'll pick it out of a hat or something to do for you. So, but don't leave any messages because I won't be answering to any of those messages. I only answer to the ones in the comments here on YouTube. Oh my gosh, it's 15 minutes. I didn't answer any questions. Okay, I'll quickly answer one question really super quick. Let's see. Um, okay, blow failed 39. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, that took a long time. I wonder if you've ever thought about doing audiobooks. Say reading a novel you wrote. You have a lovely voice. Well, I have done two. I did um, Gemma and Singing Songs, but those are scarier books. And also, I might have talked a little fast. <laughs> but I put a lot of heart into the readings. Um, in terms of these books, it takes a while to record, so I don't know. They've done, but they have done audio books of my books. Uh, Penguin Random House uh, has, have done audiobook versions of my, um, you know, all of these, Hidden Cove, Cliff's Edge, and Solace Island, so you can get them, but other people are acting, and they have several people acting, and I think they're just gonna have one person do the audiobook for Runaway Heiress, just to read all the way through to see how that one works. So anyway, that's it. That's a question answered. Um, so I hope you join me and my friend and and don't forget to sign up for the draw for, is this upside down? The draw for this. Alrighty, bye-bye. And all the information will be below this video. I'm doing below, because, but it's not there yet because my husband has to write it in. Okay, bye-bye.